What's up today, my wonderful family? Listen, my question for you today is, are you seeking and saving? Okay, are you seeking and saving? What do I mean by this? Listen, in Luke 19, 10, the Bible says, for the son of man came to seek and save those that are lost, right? In other words, Jesus came to seek and save those who are lost. Now, rather if you're saved or not, you can honestly admit, right, that there was one point in time in your life where you was completely lost, right? Think about it like this. Somebody who's never heard the word of God, somebody who has never been brought to Christ, right? They may be facing uh, an uphill battle, right? They may not know which way to go. If they never heard the word, what do they do? Who do they turn to besides calling their best friend and let's say, you know, telling their best friend about their problems? It's only so much that your best friend could do because they don't know everything. Right. They may have been through what you've been through or maybe a little bit more or a little bit less. Right. But in all actuality. Right. You know, no one really has all the answers like Christ does. OK. So now you may ask yourself this question. You may say, well, what does that have to do with anything? You know, I'm about to tell you what it has to do with it, because it has everything to do with you. OK. Listen, you need to be seeking and saving. You want to repeat the model of Christ. Listen, the Bible says that you were made in his image. OK. And the Bible also tells you uh, when Jesus said, Jesus said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. OK, so you're seeking and saving. There are a lot of people that are lost, you know, and as Christians, right, it is it is on our shoulders to get out there and spread the good news to them. Now, you may say, what is the good news? Listen, the good news is the gospel. It's the same thing that Jesus Christ came and he died for your sins. John 3, 16 says, uh, God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. He didn't just love the world. God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. In other words, that's the good news. Like, you know, man, like there is a savior. There's something to hope in. And you can let them know about the peace that you have. Share your personal testimony, okay? Don't be scared to share your uh, to share your personal testimony, all right? So when you're seeking and saving, now you may say, well, where do I seek? Where do I look? Do I just, yeah, you just look where, wherever you go. You go to the gas station. Someone's on side of you. They look depressed. They, you know, they don't know what's going on, right? Share your testimony to them on Facebook, on Instagram, right? There's a lot of times I may log on to Facebook and uh, to be completely honest with you, something I'm working on getting better at, right? I never really go on Facebook to really look and see what, what people post. I, the only time I really go on Facebook is to post what I need to post, you know. But I need to get back into the habit, right, of going on my uh, on my home screen on Facebook and looking at, you know, people's updates, right? Because a lot of people are going through tough situations. And as Christians, you know... Well, we're looking for pain. We're looking for the people who are going through uh, tribulations in life, right? And that, that's your chance to minister to them, okay? That's your chance. It's all around you, social media, in person, in your, in, uh, in your field of work, uh, in your family, right? At the basketball courts, at your gym, wherever you go, listen, souls need to be saved. That's the reason why you are here. You're not just here just to eat Fruit Loops every day and play video games and go to the mall and buy you some new shoes. You know, it's like you, you, you are here for a special purpose. Okay. So I just challenge you, listen, seek and save. Now you may say, well, I'm pretty bored today. I don't know what to do. Seek and save. Go on your Facebook, read some of the status updates. Someone going through a hard time, send them a message. You know how to type, right? <laughs> you know how to type, use technology to your event, uh, to your advantage. Share the gospel, minister to people. Listen, be of value. Just because you save doesn't mean you just sit in the corner and say, well, my life's good. I got peace, you know. I got some pizza at home I'm about to eat. No, I'm good. I'm okay. I'm not worried about this man. In the no, no, they have to get it the same way I got it, you know. No, that's, that's, that's a worldly mentality. Everybody wants to step on the next person. Everybody wants the next person to feel pain. People say, well, no, they got to go through it just like I went through it. No, they don't have to go through it. You went through it. So now that the next person doesn't have to go through it. In other words, think about it like this. When Jesus says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Now that you are on the boat, if you see somebody out there drowning. Who are you to turn your head and act like you don't see it? 
when you can throw that throw the little fishing hook no it's not you don't say you never mind you can throw out what's the name of one of them little floaty devices um or oh, it's called a floaty device i answer my own question but you throw oh it's an inner tube the little circle things if you on a boat and you see somebody out there drowning throw out your little circle thing <laughs> you know a little inner tube throw it out there and let them grab onto it and, and pull them in. Now the question then becomes, how do you pull them in? Listen, you pull them in with your testimony, with the word of God, letting them, letting them know what has happened to you. You minister to them in their pain because everybody's looking for something to hold on to. They're, they're, they're trying to hold on to money. They're trying to hold on to this. They're trying to hold on to a girlfriend, a boyfriend. You know, many people are in relationships and what they don't realize is that that person is their counterfeit God, right? In other words, they're they're worshiping that person instead of worshiping God. If that person was to turn and leave and, and, and walk out of their life, man, some people would commit suicide. But why? Because they have no identity in anything. That they have it, They have all their chips in one basket. You know, they didn't put any, any uh, not all their chips in one basket, all their eggs in one basket, right? They haven't put their, their eggs in God's basket. If you put your eggs in God's basket, God will supply you with the right person for you. So if that person just wakes up and says, you know what, I don't even want to be here no more. And they leave, right? You still have hope because it is God, right? It is God who's doing everything. Okay? So uh, so I just challenge you. Listen, everybody's looking for something to grab onto. And you on the boat, you're saved. You're a child of God. Throw out your inner tube. Open your mouth. Update your Facebook status. Tell somebody, hey, what's up? It's Sunday. God is good. Like you will be surprised. Just doing, just, just doing that little bit. It opens the door for people to comment, for people to inbox you, for people to say, oh, he or she's a Christian? Wow. Maybe I need to give my life to God. I, I don't know. I went to middle school with her and now she's talking about God. You know what? That's what I've been missing. I, I I need God in my life. You will be surprised just, just doing a little. I'm just challenging you today. <laughs> That's all. I'm just challenging you. I'm not telling you to do anything that I'm not doing, right? I have to stand under this. As soon as I cut this camera off, I have to do the same. I'm challenging myself, right? So I'm challenging you. Listen, seek and save. That's what Jesus came to do, right? Now he has empowered you to get out here and do the same thing. Don't just don't just sit in, in, in your Christian corner thinking, you know, it's all about you. No, it's about the world. It's about seeking and saving. People out here need your help. Okay. I love you. Listen, if you appreciate this video, do me a quick favor, hit that thumbs up button and let me know that you appreciate the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And listen, click the bell that's right on side of the uh, video. That'll put you on the notification squad, right? So you'll get an instant alert as soon as the video is up. All right. Uh one more thing. What am I forgetting? Oh. 13 videos in a row. That's what this is. Listen, comment below, write 13 videos in a row. As soon as I see the comment, I'm going to hit the thumbs up button, all right? Because it's 13 videos in a row. We're on the super long street. I hope to keep it all the way up and go to 1 million, all right? Then 2 million. Then 500 million, all right? I love you. I will talk to you in the very next video. Share this video and help somebody out.